Hi Stampers, this is Nancy Novak from StampAndShout.com. Welcome to my YouTube channel. I thought I would pop on real quick and show you how I made this pretty fancy fold card. And I made it using Stampin' Up's Hydrangea Haven stamp set and the dies. And I used this die here, which I cut out a lot of the petals with that. And I used this die here for the circle, and I used this die here for the leaf. And I'm going to show you how I did all of that, but I just wanted to show it all to you right now, and then we'll jump right into the card. So let's talk about the supplies that you need to make this card. And you need a card base, and I'm using Gorgeous Grape, and this is seven and a half by four and a quarter and I scored it at two inches. Then I have another cardstock piece that is four and a quarter by two inches. Then I have two pieces of designer series paper, and this is the Hydrangea Haven designer series paper from Stampin' Up! And this is cut to one and three quarters by four, four inches. One and three quarters by four inches. And these are going to lay right on top in those two areas. Then I have a mat in Gorgeous Grape, and I have a piece of Whisper White, and it's going to be layered like that. And let's see here, this is two and three quarters by four and a half, and then the white piece is two and a half by four and a quarter. Okay, so just a quarter of an inch smaller. Then I have the inside piece that is five and a quarter by four inches. Let me make sure. Four inches by five and a quarter. That's going to be going on the inside of our card. And then I have a little scrap here and this is what I cut out using that die. So let me bring that in really quick to show you how I did it. So this is the die that you use, but I just wanted the circle, the top part, which is right there. And so all I did was lay it on here like like this, and I just cut out that circle part. And that's going to be the base of that flower right there. Then I cut out many, 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 many petals. As you can see, I have them all cut out. And what I did for that was I took a strip of that same designer series paper and it's about one and a quarter inches uh, wide and it's probably, let's see here, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, it's ten inches long, okay? And I just took this die cut right here and I cut out all these petals like that. So you can get two widths so I have, what, about 36 or 38 um, petals. And you're just going to keep layering them and layering them um, until you get the, the look that you want on your flower. But first, let's go ahead and put the card together because that's going to be really easy to do. So let me bring in my glue. I'm going to take this designer series strip and put it at the top of my card. center it right there on the front of my card up at the top. Then I'm going to bring in this piece here that we talked about that's two inches by four and a quarter and I'm going to lay this designer strip on that. So for this you can use snail or glue, whatever you prefer. And we're going to do that. Okay, sticky fingers. Let me see if I can load any comments I have here. Hold on one second. Okay, I don't see my comment, my little comment icon, so I'm kind of can't see what I'm, if anyone's leaving a comment. But if you are watching me live, go ahead and type in hi. Or if you're watching me on the replay, 
please type in replay. So go, ahead, go ahead and say hi. You can type in where you're from. I always like to hear where people are watching me from. A little bit too much glue on mine. A little dry nicely though. So I just layered those two like that, okay? And that's what gonna be what our flower is gonna go on. So other pieces that I have here, let's see. Okay, I also cut out earlier off camera the leaf. And this is granny apple green. You can use whatever green you have that's in your um, scrap box. <clears throat> Excuse me. So I use this little die. See if you can see it right there. To cut out that leaf and then I also used that die right there which comes in this set and I cut out a little gorgeous grape tag and then I cut out a piece of white that's going to fit on this tag so I just cut it to fit and I'll tell you what it is it's about almost three quarters by a half an inch so you just kind of cut that out ahead of time and might as well go ahead and stamp this right now so I don't lose it. So let me bring in my gorgeous grape ink. We'll do all this easy stuff first. And I'm going to stamp on that piece of white the sentiment that says for you. Perfect. And then I'm just going to glue that or you can use glue dots or whatever to that little tag. Okay, just want to make sure I don't have too much glue on here. Alright, so I'm just going to attach that to the tag. Okay, so we're going to set all this aside for the moment and we're going to go back to this little piece that I cut out earlier. I'm just going to cut the stem part off that's showing. I don't need that. And we're going to go ahead and construct our flower. So all I did for that was, let's see if I can find my stylist. I hope I can. Oh, here it is. So all I did was took, I took my stylist and I kind of just poked these little petals to make them have a little bit of a, a dimension to them. And I didn't poke, poke them all in the middle. Some of them I did on one petal just to make them look a little bit different. There's no rhyme or reason. So I just went ahead and poked all of them like that. And this is going to take just a little bit of time to go ahead and glue to the flower base, the flower base. But it's so pretty when you get it all done. I'm just making sure I have the, the right side up that I want to show. And that's all I did there. So then, let's see, let me bring in a, a piece to work on here so you can kind of see what I'm doing. Then I brought in my silicone mat. I'm going to switch this around. And I just put a little blob of glue on here. And I have some tweezers. And I just gently touched it to the back of that flower and covered this whole base up. So like I said, this is going to take a little bit of time. So I wish my comments were working so I could see what you guys are saying and answer any questions you have. Um, when I get done with this video, I will go back in my description below the video and I'll type in any links that I think you might need that you might be interested in. Um, I'll list the supplies that I used. Um, if you were, are, if you are a subscriber to my newsletter, I put a newsletter out once a week with some stamping information and I always include a free PDF and I just so happen to include the directions for this in my newsletter today. And then I did write that I was going to try to go ahead and put together a video 
So that's what I'm doing. But again, if you are interested in my newsletter, all you need to do is go to my blog, which is www.stampandshout.com. And off to the right, it says, would you like more extra information? Would you like to subscribe? And you just enter your email address there and you're automatically then subscribed to my newsletter and every week you will receive it and like I said I have a free PDF in there instructions for a, a new card every week um, if for some reason you can't find it um, you can always email me at stampandshout dot, at stampandshout at gmail dot com and just give me your email address and I will go ahead and add you to that newsletter list been wanting to make this this type of card for a long time. I've made several um, Hydrangea Haven cards already, um, but I wanted to make one that was really three-dimensional, so I thought this was really cool, and I just kept layering them and layering them, and I love the look that it, that it created. And it's easy. It just takes a little bit of time. Get some sticky fingers, but that's okay. And I do love this layout. This is a fun little card. Anytime you have some type of um, nice focal point like this hydrangea, this is a nice card layout to put together. So keep it in, keep an example for yourself so you can always go back and make another one. Put some more glue down. Like I said, I try to do as much as I can ahead of time so you guys don't have to sit here and watch me do this tedious stuff, but um, it's always good to see how people do little little things. Gives you an idea of how to create different cards and how people came up with that. Oops. So kind of like tricks of the trade, I guess you could say. I'm going to use my stylist on some of these, so my, as my fingers are getting sticky, um, I want to make sure that, that these petals are all staying down. So now I'm going to kind of create a little bit higher level of flowers just by laying them on top of whatever I have down here. So if you do have any questions, like I said, you can leave it in the comments below. I appreciate your comments. And make sure you're subscribed and that you hit that notification bell because that kind of alerts you as to whenever I am doing a new video. I've kind of slacked off on my videos lately because we got a puppy about five and a half weeks ago and he has been keeping me very busy. So he's taking a nap now. <laughs> so I thought I'd sneak in here and show you how I made this card. Got one more here. So I, like I said, this is about 38 pieces of, you know, little petals. Okay. So now Let's bring back in our card and I'll show you how I did this. I brought this piece in like this and I kind of laid it where I think I want it to be. I'm going to put some dimensions on the back. We're going to pop it up. So I think three are good. So again, before I take that backing off, I kind of just laid it down there and looked at it. I'm going to go ahead and pop that up and then I'm going to put this leaf underneath like that. So 
it's going to go like that. I'm going to take this leaf, put it on my silicone mat. I'm going to put it upside down. And I'm going to bring in a little sponge. I need a little bit more glue. And I'm just going to dab the back of this leaf with some glue. Okay. I'm going to bring this piece in. Got to be careful. Sticky fingers and it's a very fragile leaf, so probably should use my tweezers. Okay, now I'm going to bring in my little tag and I'm going to put a dimension on the back of that. And I'm going to lay that right about there. Okay, so now I'm going to add a bow to that too, but I think I'll do that at the end. I'm trying to get some of this glue off my fingers. Okay, I'll show you how we do this. So this is going to go down here. Let's get this out of the way. So I'm going to take this piece. Just kind of dry fitting it all right now. So that's how the card is going to be. And I'm going to bring in my dimensionals again. Before I do that, I want to make sure that this is really scored well. And that will help so it doesn't pop up so much. Okay, so again, I'm going to dry fit this. It's going to go like that. I'm going to bring in my dimensionals. And I need to put dimensionals on the back of this piece at the top and at the bottom. And I have to be careful that I don't put any in the center so that, so that it does not stick to the back of the card. So that's what I am doing here. I'm just kind of dry fitting it. I can actually turn it over like this. And then I can see right where I need to put my dimensions. some at the bottom here. I could put three down there. Okay, so first thing I'm going to do is take off the backing for the top and I'm going to lay the top of this card down. And you can even kind of make sure that you're just making sure that you're putting it in the right spot in that it's not going to stick to the back of the card. Okay, now this one is going to go right there. And I can take a peek and I can see that my dimensionals are fine. It's going to, the dimensionals are going to stick to this piece. But you have to be careful and you got to keep this bottom piece in place as you do this. So I can go ahead and remove the backing of those dimensionals, dimensions, like that. And then again, I'm going to make sure that this bottom piece is right where I want it to go. And all I got to do is close the card up. And now it is stuck, just like I want it to be. So that's the front of our card. Uh, let me bring in my ribbon and put it on my table so I don't forget to do a little bow here. I'll go ahead and tie a bow really quick. And then I just attached this bow with a glue dot, kind of squished the glue dot behind the knot. And then we'll do the inside of the card real quick, but let me get this glue dot on that bow. And I'm putting that right on that tag like that. Okay, so 
front of our card is done. And we're going to do the inside real quick. So I'm going to bring in that stamping piece. Remember I told you it's five and a quarter by four. And that is going to fit right in there. So you just decide what sentiment you want to use. And I'm going to stamp happy birthday. And as long as you keep this right in the middle, so you couldn't have, let me show you, you can't have something that's going to be too wide, wider than this, because it's going to show. So this happy birthday is going to fit right perfectly behind that. So let me ink that up. And as long as I stay in the center, I'm going to be good. Let's close this ink up. Okay, so I got that. And I'm just going to glue it into my card. And this will be done. So I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, make sure you like it below and leave me a nice comment. I appreciate it. Share it with your friends if you think they'd like it. Like I said, it's quite easy to do, and I think it really is kind of spectacular when you get it done. It's just a fun, fun, fun fold. So there you go. Open it up, and there's your sentiment. So you got lots of room to sign it, and there you go. So again, that's a Stampin' Up's Hydrangea Heaven. I'll have all the links.